Hey guys, and welcome to this brand new video. So like I mentioned in my most recent update video, today I'm gonna be training one of my Aquiltiques. I'm not riding it right now because I decided I also wanted the Perlino one from Fort Pinta. So we are gonna buy that one in a second, but today I'm going to be explaining to you how I bruised my ankle heavily and why my leg is in a cast right now. It's quite an interesting story and it has to do with horses. So if you are curious to know how I almost broke my ankle, then keep on watching. First thing we're gonna do, like I just mentioned, is buy the Perlino Aquiltique in Fort Pinta. So let's go to Fort Pinta and buy that new Aquiltique. Here we are, and in case you haven't noticed, I am currently on my Nightstar account because I do want to buy this Perlino on my alt, and also it is daylight here, and on my main account the sun is currently setting, so the video isn't as bright as I want it to be, which is another reason for me playing on Nightstar and everyone's at school in America right now so it is very chill out here and I love that a lot for my videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Perlino horse over here and oh my god it's so pretty I can't. Over the past few days this horse has really grown on me like honestly I kind of like it a lot right now. But anyways let's get into buying this horse and then I'll explain to you how I bruised my ankle because I feel like that's why we all clicked on this video, right? So I'm gonna buy this horse and I'm probably gonna use a new name. So I'm gonna find a name and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I found a name and honestly, I really love this. Apparently you have now the option to name your horse Sunshine and I felt like that is very appropriate for this Perlino horse. So let's go ahead and call this one Sunshine. Am I the only one who always really struggles with outfits on Perlino horses? I don't know if it's just me, but I just really feel like no color is the perfect match, you know? Considering this horse has bright, but like bright blue eyes, I might eventually do a bright blue outfit and maybe that will fit, but for now we're gonna keep this. I like this too, it's pretty basic, but it's pretty. And now let's get to the actual subject of this video and that is training, so let's go. So let's talk about why my leg is in a cast right now. Last Tuesday, I had my weekly horse riding lesson. I do show jumping and I was jumping a horse called Bamboo. Now, I had ridden Bamboo two times before that and the horse is pretty enthusiastic, if you can say it like that. The horse really accelerates every single time it has to jump and sometimes that can be really hard to control. Now, for some reason, Bamboo was acting really weird out there and was making weird like moves and doing stuff that I never asked him to do and it was really weird. So I had a lot of issues with um, just staying on the horse in general. Now there was this one jump and Bamboo kept refusing to jump that jump and at some point I actually did it at once but then Bamboo turned to the left when I was expecting he was gonna go to the right and I fell off pretty horribly. All I can remember is that I was hanging next to Bamboo and my foot was stuck in my stirrup and I was hanging there, I was panicking, I let go, my foot was still stuck but then for some reason, at some point, it came loose and I fell on the ground. And the first reaction I had was, ow, my ankle. I also had a nose bled and probably a concussion because I can't remember I hit my head. But the next day, I was so, so sick for some reason. Like, I was very dizzy and I just didn't feel good. Anyway, like I just said, my first reaction was, ow, my ankle. And that was because my ankle, I couldn't feel it. I just couldn't feel it and it hurt so, so bad. So yeah, my trainer helped me get up and helped me get to the cafe where my my grandparents and parents and also brother were sitting and they were like, oh my god, what did you do? So I explained to them how I fell off bamboo and how I really had hurt my ankle and how I think it might be bruised. I quickly want to add here that my ankle was very, very thick and it hurt a lot, like I just said, but because it was so thick, we definitely did put ice on it so it wouldn't be as thick when we went home. Now the next day, my mom went to my doctor with me and my doctor said that I had to get a scan in the hospital. So we immediately went to the hospital and on the pictures taken, they couldn't see any like 
like cracks in my bone that's my ankle it was definitely not broken though it was definitely not broken luckily because i still want to ride horses in the upcoming month you know but it was heavily bruised and they couldn't see a crack but there was a possibility that it was there so my doctor in the hospital decided that i did need an open cast for a week so right now i am sitting here with my leg on my pc and I cannot explain to you guys how annoying a cast is when you feel like it's so, so unnecessary. And you know why I think this cast is so unnecessary? It's because I literally do not feel any pain in my leg at the moment and I can walk on it without any problems. My ankle is still a little unstable, but I really hope it'll get better in the upcoming week and hopefully my cast can come off next Friday at my next appointment. It's just weird because I feel like it's so unnecessary. I'm not in pain. I can walk walk perfectly fine. It's just that the cast is a little bit in the way. But I'm just so annoyed, you guys, because I'm going to a camping site next week and I really want to swim there and have fun. But unfortunately, with a cast around my leg, that's going to be quite hard, you know? So yeah, thanks to Bamboo, I am in a cast for a week now and I cannot ride for two weeks, which kind of sucks, I know. But um, yeah, that's basically my story time, I guess. Another thing I want to mention is that there probably won't be a Wednesday update video for next Wednesday because like I just mentioned, I'm going to a camping site and I'm already leaving on Wednesday. So I am not able to make a video that day. There will also not be a video for that Saturday next week because I'll still be at the camping site. And I just really hope you understand. I kind of need a break, especially with my legs. So I hope you understand and respect that. What I will do just like I do when I'm on vacation during the summer is make a post on my community section here on YouTube about the new update so you're still updated so make sure you go to your subscriptions and put it on videos and posts so you won't miss out oh and also please don't worry about me i am definitely gonna listen to the doctor's professional advice and keep the cast on because it's for my own good you know but i also hope you understand how frustrated i am at the moment because just imagine you're going on a holiday and you're in a cast and you cannot walk on your own how annoying must that be, right? Now, like you guys know, I am a pretty positive person, so I'm just gonna try and make the best of it because, you know, it's just like, it's amazing. I'm going on a holiday and I should appreciate it. The camping site I'm going to is called Camping de Pal. And for those who don't know, yes, I'm Dutch or actually I'm Belgian, but my native language is Dutch. This camping site is in the Netherlands though. It is in Bergeijk and it's such a fun camping site. If you live near um, Zuid-Brabant, this camping site is in fact in the Netherlands. It's in Bergeijk. And if you live in Noord Brabant, I really suggest going to that camping site because the swimming pool is so much much fun. I'm not joking. Literally 90% of my audience doesn't understand a word of what I'm saying right now, but all of my Dutch people out there, I love you and I know you're there. Something I also want to touch on is that recently on the 12th of May, my channel had its fourth year anniversary. And I just want to throw out a little thank you to all of my subscribers. We recently hit 52k and that is insane. I couldn't have done any of this without you guys and I am incredibly thankful for this amazing little part of my life and I just, I can't thank you enough. Now y'all know me, I don't like training too much and my horse has just turned level three and honestly, for me, that's enough in one day. So we are gonna put an ending to the training and also to the video, but keep on watching because I do have something else important to say. The question I wanna ask you guys is what type of content do you enjoy the most on my channel? What type of video should I maybe read remake or make for the very first time. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see because I truly care about that and I just want to make content that you guys enjoy and I personally really love making these training videos but I just don't feel like I could do them every single week because it would get boring and really my life isn't that interesting. So let me know down below in the comments what you want to see on my channel in the future and your idea might eventually appear on my channel. I also want to say if I do use your idea Idea, I will give you the full credit both a link in the description I will mention you in the video so you will get full credit don't 
worry about that. And that's basically that on that. I want to thank you so, so much for watching and coming here to hang out with me and listen to me talking about recent life events, etc. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it also helps me out a lot. Also, if you want to see more videos of mine, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications so you'll never ever miss out on anything I post. And I really hope I'll see you back in one and a half a week with a brand new video because I'll be gone for a week. Unfortunately, I need a little break. But yeah, I hope I'll see you back in that Wednesday update video from not next week, but the week after. So bye guys.